What's up guys, welcome to another video, and this time, we're doing a Wi-Fi upgrade. Before we get into this video, I do want to mention that I do stream every Monday, Wednesday, Friday and Saturday over on Twitch, so if you like what you see here, uh, but want to discuss it more on a personal basis, then please do head over there, the link will be on screen and down in the description below. And if you haven't already, please do subscribe to the channel, like the video, as it really helps out with this YouTube algorithm, and I really appreciate it. Alright, let's get into it! So, Wi-Fi 6 has been around now for about a year or two, and I think it's about time that we uh, we get some decent Wi-Fi speed in this house. It's not exactly a big house, but we've always struggled with getting decent Wi-Fi all over the place. Um, so we've just been using, uh, well, we were with Sky first, and now we're with Virgin, and the kit's just not up to scratch. So to try and help us with that, we're going to be upgrading to a new Wi-Fi 6 mesh system from ASUS called Zen Wi-Fi AX. AX is obviously for Wi-Fi 6. They finally got rid of the stupid lettering and now they've gone with uh, Wi-Fi 6 rather than AX, AC, AN, whatever else they had. No one understood what it was for. Wi-Fi 6 is now the latest and greatest and uh, we're going to be installing this today. Now, as you can see, there's two nodes in this. They come as a pair. Um, this is the AX6600, I believe. Yeah, with tri-band Wi-Fi. Uh, they do have one that's a little bit more powerful, and I think it's the AX11000, but I didn't bother with that one, it just wasn't worth the price uh, for what you're going to get. Um, and especially with the way that I'm going to be setting these up, so I'm going to be setting these up um, as they're wired together. You can do it so they've got a Wi-Fi backhaul, uh, which is a dedicated channel between the two, so that they can kind of communicate um, and act as kind of a, a Wi-Fi extender, but I'm going for a proper mesh Wi-Fi system wiring together, one's going to be at the back of the house, one's going to be at the front of the house and hopefully this will get us better Wi-Fi signal uh, kind of near the back in the kitchen, the room I'm in now and um, and in the garden. So yeah, let's go ahead and unbox it shall we? Right then guys, let's get into it. So here we have it, this is the Zen Wi-Fi AX, Wi-Fi 6 as I mentioned. Uh, let's have a look at the back of the box. So we've got next gen Wi-Fi 6 technology, always secure with our protection pro, yada yada yada. Advanced control of the Wi-Fi system. So these also allow you to do parental control um, through the router itself. And it also allows you a small little bit of quality of service where it identifies sometimes the traffic and gives them priority. And it's got an intuitive mobile app. Okay. I have heard bad things about this app, so we'll find out about that later. Right, let's open the box without knocking over the camera. These scissors are awful. Right, so, open the box. What have we got? Straight away we've got the two nodes. So as far as I know, these are exactly identical. These are each of the nodes. They all have uh, so the power port, power button, LAN, for some reason these are backwards, LAN 1, 2, 3, the 2.5 and 1 gigabit WAN, so that's the one that you'll use to connect it to the uh, to the modem, and then a USB port which you can use for network attached storage, um, which I already have running through my PC. So another reason that I went with these ones is because they actually look half decent, a lot of the stuff around this price point, because this was about £400, um, I don't know how much they are in the US, probably around $450 uh, but around this price point these, these are the ones that actually look they just look like normal things rather than game aesthetic uh, rubbish <laughs> to put it to put it nicely okay so there's the first one and then if we get the second one get that one. and yeah I was correct I was correct these, uh, these do have exactly the same things on them uh, as you can see there so as far as I know as well, um, you can actually buy extra ones of these uh, as solo stands and mesh them all together to increase your mesh network. But for my house, that's just not necessary. I don't live in a mansion or anything like that, yeah. Right, what else is in the box? Let's go with this. There we go. So can I get rid of this? No, I can. Okay. So in here we have a VIP warranty notice whatever that means, I don't know what with VIP. That one's in a different language, this one's in a different language. Loads of warranty stuff. Quick start guide, which I'm sure will actually come in useful because I've never done mesh Wi-Fi before. Hopefully this won't take too long to set up. A 
bunch of different power adapters. Uh, so you've got UK, US 2 prong, another US 2 prong, so that might be EU. And then another UK. Oh, duh, we need two power adapters. Uh, we've got two things to plug in, Craig, come on. And then you've actually got the power plugs right there. And then, very nicely of them, they include one Ethernet cable. Um, would have been nicer to have two, since there's two nodes. You're obviously gonna. Well, maybe some people won't have two things plugged in, I don't know. But for me, wired is definitely the way to go. This is just literally to get Wi Fi into our back garden and better around the house. Okay, so that's everything in the box. It's a very nice hinge design. Did you see that? Look at that. Oof. Okay, guys, so here we have it. This is the whole kit that comes with it. Um, so we've got two nodes, two power plugs, uh, and then two power adapters because they're universal. Um, and then an ethernet wire. Cool. Now, as I said, what I'm gonna be doing with mine is I'm gonna be wiring these two together throughout the house. We've got a very long ethernet cable that runs all the way to the loft or to the upstairs location where I'm gonna be running the second one. Um, but you can use these with a dedicated backhaul. I think it's a five gigahertz band. Um, to try and give you the most throughput where they just speak to each other. So if this one's the uh, host and this one's just the access point node, then they'll speak to each other and this one will extend the signal going outside. Okay, so now that the unboxing's done, it looks like it's time to uh, get installed. Let's, let's get on with it. Alright then guys, we're now downstairs. This is where the host node is going to be living. So the original idea, I think, is we're going to put it up on this top shelf for the moment. Um, as you can see, this is our, this is our current router and hub and whatever from Virgin, it's the Super Hub 3. Not good. Um, it's, it's done us well for the past year or so, but now we've just got too many devices and I'm hoping with, with, with this new kit, um, all of the devices that we have will work a lot better. I don't know whether we can get better speeds upstairs or not, but the main idea is to just allow everything to communicate with each other just a little bit better um, because we get quite a lot of latency whenever we're trying to just search the simple web pages on our phones and things upstairs so hopefully this will get it done i have also got out a few other ethernet cables because i'm not quite sure how i'm going to buy this up um and you know the the shorter cable possible so that all of this i mean it's already pretty bad you can look at those wires look at them Oof. doesn't look bad from afar but there is just way too much stuff in these units um oh ps built these shelves quite proud of them just so you know and uh, soon we'll be getting on to building our new uh, gaming setup upstairs, which will all be woodwork as well. And I think I'm going to be making a video on it, so stay tuned for that one. Well then, let's uh, get on with installing it, shall we? Always read the instruction manual. If you're that kind of guy. Which I am. Well, first complaint, that is not very secure. Look at that, you can just pull it straight back off. Why? Oh, that's the power in. Okay, so according to this, uh, what we've got to do is we've got to find two nodes, which we have. Although I need to get the other one from upstairs, because apparently for setup you do have to have them one to three meters away. I guess that's because they assume you're going to use them as wide as pairs. Well, I'm going to guess that uh, we need to plug this into port 1 of our Super Hub 3 so that it picks it up as the WAN port. Um, what we're going to have to do after is we're going to have to go into our hub settings and change it from, uh, change it from being a modem man router to just put it into modem mode. That way it will allow all traffic to pass through one port and go straight into our, uh, our mesh network. Right, so we've got the other node now. Just going to wire that one up and then we'll see what happens. Right, both of them are now plugged in. So let's see what happens when we turn them on. So apparently what we're waiting for is we're waiting for this little light. Just here, uh, focus, no, it doesn't want to focus, okay. Uh, just waiting for that to turn blue, and then apparently we can go ahead, download the app and we can get everything set up. Right, the lights turn blue, 
So now we can get on with the cinema. So what they're telling me to do is download the app uh, from the manual, which they very handily give you a QR code to scan. Right, so I'm very handily uh, able to record the screen on my phone. So that app was called Asus, Asus Router. We'll agree to that. Asus Router, welcome. Thank you. Set up a new router, yes. Asus Zen Wi-Fi series router is what we've got now. So let's click on that. Okay, it appears to have found it. So Zen Wi-Fi AX, yep. Connecting to Zen Wi-Fi AX. Well, we'll let this run through its thing and uh, we'll catch you in a second. Now if this fails, I've got a feeling that I might need to go in and change uh, the Super Hub 3 into modem mode. Oh, it says get started with advanced settings. Let's have a look at the advanced settings. PPPoE, power we can up, but don't know what for, DCHP, static IP. Okay, let's not do that. Let's just get started. <laughs> Is there a special requirement from your ISP to assure your authorized internet with VLAN tag and IPTV streaming? Please check ISP profile. No? Create Wi Fi network, personalize your Wi Fi name, SSID, and password. Let's call it pen holder because that's our, uh, our last names mashed together. And then password, you aren't going to see this, sorry. Uh, so if your Asus uses admin username and password, we'll have that as the uh, BFG. And my password can be, and again, you're not going to see this one. Done. Now applying your settings. So far, this seems pretty simple. Okay, again, we'll let this run through and we'll see you in a bit. Okay, here we go. So this is telling us uh, system set up good connection. Your network is operating perfectly. Wi-Fi name. Oh, we'll have to blow out the passwords. Useful, why would you do that? Finish. All right, and it's brought us into the, uh, the homepage of the app. Now that was really rather simple. And I'm quite impressed with that, to be fair. Uh, enable remote connection. You know, remote connection will modify the, the following settings of your DNS. Uh, enable DDNS, dynamic DNS. Enable access from WAN. Open HTTPS protocol for data transfer. Accept continue remote, set remote connection. I'm not going to set up remote connection because I don't think I've got any use case for it. I can already turn my PC on from wherever I am in the world using Amazon Alexa um, and I can still VNC onto that. So I don't see the point. Um, it'll just leave a bit of an open patch on my network, which I don't want. So we're going to click cancel. Uh, blah, blah, blah. I just notice, agree. Okay. So what I'll do now is uh, we'll run some speed tests. All right, I'm just switching back onto, onto the old Wi-Fi. And whilst I'm sitting right next to it, let's see how that does on a speed test. So this is running through the Super Hub 3. So I'm sitting right next to it. I should be on the 4 gigahertz band. Um, our internet generally gets around 350, 380 megabits per second. And right now we're only getting 209. So that's, that's probably should be even sitting next, right next to it. That could be due to congestion. Now that we've got these other nodes set up um, as a separate network for the moment. So we'll find out in a second. If we go back over onto Penholder, which is the new network we've just set up. Let's do a speed test on that one. Oof, even better straight from the get-go of sitting right next to the router. That is embarrassing Virgin Media. So up to full speed, 382 megabits per second down and 36 megabits per second up. It's pretty good, pretty happy. And that thing flew. All right, so what we've got to do now is I've just got to plug everything back into uh, the back of the Asus router. Um, and then we'll go and take up the node upstairs, set that up up there, get everything all wired together, um, and then we'll go and do some uh, some Wi-Fi tests. Well then, guys, it's been a hot minute. Um, we've come up here, we've put the uh, the node 
just here on the desk because it's the only buzz that I have for you right now. Uh, I was going to put it kind of here on the oh god, that's it further exposed on the windowsill uh, just so that we get even better coverage outside. For now, that will do. Um, everything's set up. We've gone through on the app um, and upgraded the firmware on both this node and the node downstairs, so they should be working perfectly well. Um, at the moment on the phone, it is saying that we can actually Wi Fi 6, which is great because that's what we wanted. Now that all this is set up, uh, I'm just going to go in, turn my Super Hub 3 onto root mode, and that should be it, really. Uh, then we can run some tests and see how we get on. Okay, then, guys, here to wrap up the video. It's actually been quite a while since I filmed this. It's been a good few months, as you can tell. All my hair's, all my hair's growing back. Um, but it's allowed me to use the system for quite some time now, so. Uh, I can give you a bit of a better indication as to what it's like. But off the bat, it's been perfect. I have had a few glitches um, where there was a bad firmware update that came out, which kind of, I don't even know how this is possible, but in one of my rooms, it, it's almost as like it stopped it from doing its smart switching between the two hubs that I've got. Because in my office, I started to get like only six megabits per second, but everywhere else in the house, it was fine. So I figured this is the place that's furthest away from both hubs. So maybe it's not, maybe it's not switching over correctly. I don't know, but another firmware update came out and that's now been completely fixed. I will put the results for the different areas that I've tested in the house, which will be uh, the office, the living room, and at the bottom of the garden, just so that you can see that it is reaching everywhere now. Um, so yeah, pretty happy, pretty happy. Final thoughts on Wi-Fi 6 then. Worth the upgrade? Yes. Worth the price? Probably not. I think. Uh, going back, this cost me three or four hundred pounds to put these nodes in the house. Wait for it to come down in price. Um, a lot of people will not need this kind of speed or coverage around their house if you do get range extenders until this comes down to the, the normal kind of, you know, one to two hundred pound option. So there we have it. I just want to say uh, thanks again for coming by and watching the video. I hope some of you found this helpful. Let me know in the comments below whether you're going to pick one of these up yourself. Um, and if you do, then please drop them by my Twitch chat and uh, we can talk about our setups. Don't forget to also follow me on all my social medias. I am getting more and more active on there. So if you want a conversation, that's probably the best place to get me. Um, and yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.